Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. Recently I was on eBay poking around and I found this thing right here. This is an old vintage tackle box that just so happens to be full of lures. Now, this was not a cheap tackle box to buy. It cost me $100. But I am very excited to take a look inside and see what all kinds of crazy cool lures are in here. If you guys have been watching this channel for any period of time, you know that I like old, vintage, weird lures. I've done videos like this before. This one was significantly more expensive than the last one. This one cost over $100. But nevertheless, let's take a look inside and see what cool stuff's in here. Okay, so just on first inspection, I am shocked at the amount of stuff that's in here. There is so much stuff in here. It's crazy. There's quite a few lures in here as well. Some of them look really, really cool. Let's take a closer look. All right, so all right, so as you can see, this tackle box is absolutely slammed full of all kinds of lures. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. And the first thing that's catching my eye is the spoons right here. There is a bunch of spoons. There is a ton of these spoons stacked in this tackle box. It's quite incredible. These spoons look really, really good. I am familiar with this type of spoon. They're used a lot for steelhead fishing and salmon fishing. And I happen to know that these spoons are really, really good. So the fact that I just got like, I don't know, 16, 17 of these things is pretty awesome. So that's the first thing that kind of jumped out to me about this tackle box is these spoons. All right, so the second bait that jumped out to me right here is this thing. This one is actually in some sort of an old sleeve. I'm gonna pop it out of the sleeve real quick and take a look at it. This is a very weird looking bait. I believe this is some sort of top water bait, as you can see right there. Very, very weird looking lure. Very interesting again. Very interesting bait. Never quite seen something like this before. There's no real branding on it, so I don't really know what brand it is. Super unique and interesting bait again. Very interesting. All right, so two more very unique lures that are catching my eye are these. These are hidden teeny crazy crawlers right here. Check these things out. Very unique uh, bait. Very, very cool looking actually. As you can see, these are top water baits and they have these two wings out the front uh, that provide a very unique look. I don't know how old these are. This is a very unique bait. I have not seen these before, so I'm very excited to have them uh, and try them out. They seem like really cool little top water baits. There is also a very crusty jitterbug in here as well. Okay, moving over to this side, there's a lot more stuff over here. There's some junk too, which I'm kind of, which I'm gonna kind of sort out as I go. Uh, there's some old packaging that doesn't look very great, uh, and some other kind of random stuff. Let's start with this right here. This looks like some sort of uh, uh, a case to hold something. There, I believe there's a bait in here. Yep, there is. Okay, there is an old Rapella in. This little case right here, I believe this is the original floating minnow. Very cool bait. I don't know how old this is, honestly. I'm not an expert on this, but it definitely looks older than the ones that are available today. A Little bit crusty, but could use a little cleanup. This bait's gonna be perfectly good. Uh, this is a classic lure, so it's really cool to have one of these. Again, balsa construction, very cool bait. We also have two little packets of dry flies right here. These are really interesting. I don't do much dry fly fishing, but these are cool nonetheless, nice little packages. I'm definitely gonna keep those. Okay, I just found something really, really weird. I don't really know what this is. Um, as you can see, it's some sort of plastic lure. It has a hook on it uh, out the back. I have no idea what this is. If anybody can tell me what this is in the comments below, I'd love to hear it, because I don't know what this is again. Interesting bait. Well, I just dropped it on the floor. Here is another bait that is in the tackle box. As you can see, there's a little head with some eyes and a hook and then just a piece of tubing. I believe this is supposed to imitate like an eel. Uh, this is used in more saltwater fishing applications. I believe so, I'm not 100% on that, but I think that's what that's for. There's honestly a lot of really random stuff in here and it's kind of crazy. Okay, so moving on, we have a fish scaler. Uh, this is pretty common if you buy old vintage tackle boxes. A lot of them have a fish scaler uh, right there. Let's see what else we got. We got some other kind of random bits. We got some treble hooks. Right here, as you can see, there is also some bits of like fishing reels and some weights, nothing super interesting. Uh, this looks like some sort of a spinner bait. As you can see, it's got like a hard plastic minnow on it. This is, a, I believe this is a MEPS. It says MEPS on the side. So this is like an older style spinner bait. This is a MEPS, what is this? It's the original French spinner. I don't know what that is. It looks like an early version of what we know as the modern day spinner bait. Interesting bait, nonetheless. And then we have this jumbled mess of stuff right here, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and try to untangle this. There's some hooks, there's weights, there's bobbers, there's old plastic worms, kind of just jumbled together. So give me a little bit. All right, so there were two baits in that tangled mess. There was this thing right here. This is just another jitterbug, great bait. 
uh, it's been around forever, still works really, really well. And then we had this bait right here. This is a swimming mouse of some sort. I don't know, I can kind of read the bottom. I think it says Shakespeare swimming mouse. Could be wrong. But definitely says swimming mouse of some sort. So I'm gonna have to look this one up and see what this one is. Very, very interesting looking lure, very cool. And all right, down here we have another kind of tangled mess of stuff, as you can see. Uh, there definitely seems to be some more jitterbugs in here. Yeah, some more jitterbugs. Let me pull these out real quick. So there was three more jitterbugs in here. Whoever owned this tackle box beforehand loved jitterbugs. They have kind of a crusty white coating on them, but once I clean them up, they should be usable. So, hey, I'll take it. Jitterbugs are great. But there's also a little spinner in there, as you can see. Pretty cool little thing. Moving on down, we have some more weights, split shots, that kind of stuff. We have two baits, actually, that are in still in uh, their original packaging, which is really interesting. So two baits that are in packaging. This one, I'm pretty sure, is not in its original packaging. This looks like um, a fairly modern bait, as you can see. Yeah, this is, this is kind of a plastic uh, crankbait right there, and it's in a flat fish box, which is a different lure. All right, so this lure is the Creek Chub right here. This one looks like it's in its original packaging. So that is really interesting. Let me pull this guy out here. There you have it. That is the Creek Chub lure right there. I have some of these lures already, but they're in a bigger size. And the fact that this one comes with original packaging, it's pretty sweet. I probably won't throw this, honestly. I'll probably just keep it for more of a collector's item. All right, so moving on down into the bottom of this tackle box, I'm gonna start going through stuff because there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of random stuff, like there's this thing. I believe this is some sort of a bait holder you would have used for like, live bait or worms. Oh, this is crazy. Check this thing out. Whoa! This is pretty sick right here. This is a gaff and this is what you would use to gaff a big fish. So if you're bringing in a big fish, it's coming up to shore, you can just stick it with this thing and haul it up. They actually use these quite a bit in saltwater fishing still and this one's really cool because it's just a little hand gaff. Very. This is a very, very cool piece. I love it. Very sweet. All right, what else is in here? We have a random fishing line clip thing. I don't know what this is. It's still in the packaging, which is kind of cool. No idea. Interesting though, nonetheless. We have some old line right here, as you can see. Uh, this is tri-line, six pound test. I don't know how good this is gonna be still after all these years. It looks pretty old, but nevertheless, interesting, interesting. All right, so we got some other stuff in here. We have some more line, uh, six pound test mono right there. Interesting, interesting. Again, fairly old. Some more line of some sort, as you can see. Um, so there's some random junk in here. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, ooh, there's an old pamphlet. This is actually really cool. This is an old Mitchell reel pamphlet. I think I'll actually keep that as kind of a decorative piece because that looks pretty cool. Very cool. Um, there's an old Fenwick also. Fenwick. This is a lifetime warranty, so that's cool. I don't have any Fenwick stuff, but <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Okay, so we got a fishing reel right here. As you can see, that is a old fishing reel. Very, very old. Still actually spins, so she still has some life to her. It's kind of hilarious. I don't know what brand this is. It's not really marked. Some angle brackets. No idea why there's angle brackets in here, but there is. Insect repellent. All right, some very crusty bottles of insect repellent that are kind of nasty. Um, got a little case in here. It's got some hooks. Kind of interesting. We have one of these stringers. As you can see, this is uh, kind of a metal stringer with individual little clamps on it. So that's interesting. Kind of neat. We have another one, actually. We have two stringers. Right there, as you can see. Another one. And actually an old plastic worm kind of tangled up in there, too, as well. Oil. We have some oil, too. So you can oil your reels. This guy was prepared. He had oil in the tackle box, ready to go. And last but not least, we have a another fishing reel right here. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, right here. This is a Bronson Retriever. No idea what this is. Ooh. Sounds like it definitely needs some oil. <laughs> Maybe this is what the oil's for. Uh, this thing sounds really rough. Woo! So guys, that was pretty much all of the stuff that was in the tackle box. As far as what stood out to me, uh, first of all, these spoons right here. Um, there was 15 of these spoons in the tackle box, and I have to say, I'm gonna use these things. These things are great. I've used these before, and they're really, really good. I ended up getting 15 of these spoons, and they actually are selling currently right now for like five bucks a piece. So I got like $75 worth of spoons. These are all brand new, and so I'm gonna use them. 
really, really great. They're in a number of different sizes. As far as what else jumped out to me, uh, this swimming mouse jumped out to me. Very, very interesting bait. Looks fairly old. I'm going to do a little research on it, find out something about it. It's kind of interesting. And then these little um, hidden crazy crawlers right here. Very unique bait. Haven't seen it before. I actually want to take these out and fish with them. They seem really, really cool. And then also uh, the jitterbugs. Got a bunch of jitterbugs right here. Uh, I think there's like four or five of them. So very, very cool stuff. Cool jitterbugs. That, and then some old vintage fishing reels. And then the creek shub in the original packaging is cool as well. And then also this gaff is pretty sweet. It looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to put this on the wall. Maybe even use it sometime if I need it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's always a ton of fun buying old tackle boxes like that, going through the stuff. You never really know what you're going to find. Again, I love old vintage stuff. Uh, and I love weird lures, so this kind of thing is right up my alley. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. I might be able to do a couple more. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.